Dems could break with Obama on Iran, the Hills Global Affairs. Follow Advanced Search Options Home Flash News Senate House Administration Campaign Polls Business and Lobbying Sunday Talk Shows Campaign Business and Lobbying K Street Insiders Lobbying Contracts Lobbying Hires Lobbying Revenue Opinion Columnist Editorials Letters Opus Ed Wayden's World Capital Living Cover Stories Food and Drink New Members of the Week 20 Questions My 5 Minutes W Flash Obama Announcements Meet the Lawmaker Jobs Video in the Note Briefing room Reg Watch Helicon Valley 2 Wire Floor Action on the Money Health Watch Transportation The FCO Ant Hill Global Affairs Congress Ballot Box in the No Pundits Twitter Room Home Senate House Administration Campaign Polls Business and Lobbying Sunday Talk Shows Blogs Briefing Room Reg Watch Helicon Valley 2 Wire Floor Action on the Money Health Watch Transportation The FCO Ant Hill Global Affairs Congress Ballot Box in the No Pundits Twitter Room Opinion A B Stoddard Brent Budowski Laddie Davis David Hillary Jacobus Mark Melmedic Morris Marcos Mullet Siskos Robin Bronk Editorials Letters Opus EDS Juan Williams Jeff Greg Christian Heinz Karen Feeney John Theory Bill Press Capital Living Cover Stories Food and Drink Announcements New Member of the Week My 5 Minutes W Flash Obama All Capital Living Video Hill Tube Events Video Classifieds Jobs Classifieds Resources Mobile Site Ifany Android iPad Lawmaker Ratings Order Reprints Last 6 Issues Outside Links RSS Feeds Contact Us Advertise Reach Us Submitting Letters Submitting Opus EDS Subscriptions Dems Could Break With Obama On Iran By Julian Pasek October 24 13 6 22 p.m. at Tweet Top Democratic Senators are weighing whether to break with President Obama on Iran after the White House pressed them Thursday to delay another round of sanctions. The Senate Banking Committee had been expected to introduce new sanctions legislation next Tuesday and mark it up next Thursday, the Senate aide told The Hill. That time frame is now in doubt after administration officials urged top staffers on the banking and foreign relations panels to hold off during a meeting at the White House on Thursday. The date has not been finalized yet, the Senate Banking Committee staffer told The Hill following the meeting. The White House request leaves Senate Majority Leader Harry Reid D. Nevada and the Chairman of the Foreign Relations and Banking Committees, Robert Menendez D.N.J. and Tim Johnson D.S.D. with a tough choice. The White House wants more time to negotiate with Iran over its nuclear program. But Senate Democrats are under pressure to quickly adopt new sanctions that are expected to target Iran's oil sector and foreign currency reserves. The House overwhelmingly passed similar legislation on a 400-20 to 20 vote in July. Senate Republicans have been pressed.